Hi, so what I have here is the APC Smart 3000 XL. So it's one of the bigger ones and you'll notice there is a red here. The battery is basically dead. So I have my replacement here and um, you know, it, I will have this link in the description area and also in the comment section. So let me go ahead and remove this. Now before I get started here, one thing I do want to mention is that these things are hot swappable. So once you, um, you know, you don't have to turn it off or anything like that. You don't have to turn off any servers or unplug them. It's hot swappable. You know, you're just pulling this out, switching it out. So that is the steps that I'm going to show here. Keep in mind, it is hot swappable. All of these are hot swappable. So to remove it, simply, you know, grab this on the side and pull out. So the face plate I'm taking out. And once again, this is the Smart UPS 3000 XL uh, APC. And if you'll notice here, uh, the model, the particular model number I have is SU3000RMXL3U. So you'll see that this is the battery that's dead. There's gonna be two screws here in the corner. You're gonna remove that. And I'm gonna pull this out here. So I'm gonna pull this out. Uh, keep in mind the shape here. So this is a upside down U-shaped. I'm just gonna uh, pull this out here. And you'll notice that this, this is broken. So, um, you know, good, good thing I, I could still pull it out like so. And it's a little bit stuck. So I might have to basically use more force here pull it out let me wiggle it so you know I'm gonna deal with that later but I just want to show you here you know what you're dealing with so it's those two clamps that I'm gonna clamp in and I'm gonna be plugging it in like that so this particular unit is about 50 60 pounds with a bunch of batteries in it so it's gonna be heavy you might need two people um, but once again you know it's gonna be like this so that's what I'm dealing with as far as pulling it out and detaching it all right so if I grasp it here and because this is the replacement I don't mind pulling on the plugs and it just comes out like so and once again make sure it's a you know upside down u-shaped when when you're putting this other unit back in so I'm gonna slide this out and it's super heavy so I'm gonna need two hands or two people you know I'm gonna leverage this one and, and use this as weight when I pull it out and then rest it on uh, this particular one. And you can see that the, you know, inside there, you know, as far as plugging this in, you know, that's how it's going to go. All right, so let, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to do that now. So I just put the new one in. This is one thing that's very, very important, and that's you could hot swap all of these. Keep in mind this battery is probably dead, but also when you're replacing it, it needs to recharge. So that's why you could just hot swap it. Um, now, keep in mind, remember that it's upside down U-shaped, so you know it's like this. And I'm gonna just simply plug it in and push it in like so. You know, make sure it's nice and snug. And now you notice this is still like that. I have to leave it for it to recharge. Now, if this button does not turn off by itself, what I have to do is push the test button, you know, and then it'll reset. So remember to reset by pushing the test button. So now it's basically testing it, it's all set. You notice that it turned off. And now you just simply, you know, replace the lid. So you know, do the left side first by putting this in and then uh, put it, putting the other side in. So I'll, I'll need two hands for this, but um, you know, you, you, you get the gist of it. So there you go. That is how you replace the Smart UPS 3000XL APC.
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, ask me in the comment section. And also, um, you know, support this channel with a thumbs up or, um, you know, forwards or buy from this channel to support it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I hope this uh, works out for you.